Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft Win RT Storage API default app error. And when you're receiving this error message, you might notice that a lot of Microsoft application may not work and many files will not open with any default application. So if this is what is happening, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to go ahead and run this PowerShell command. So command is provided in the video description. Copy this command and then open PowerShell. So go ahead and type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Then click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here and then hit the enter key. Now once this is done, you can go ahead and try to open Microsoft Store. And you should be able to open Microsoft Store. Now after this, you might have to go ahead and reinstall many store apps such as Calculator, Photos. You, so you might have to reinstall many applications, Microsoft applications. So in the search box, if you want to install Photos app, in the search box, you can go ahead and type in Photos and then click on Microsoft Photos and then you can go ahead and install it from here. Now you might also have to set default properties for any file or application. For example, go to Start menu, then click on Settings. And then in the search box, you can go ahead and type in default apps. So click on default apps. And then for example, if you click on photos, you have to go ahead and select the default, you know, for photos, for opening any photos, you have to go ahead and select photos app from here. So set the correct default app for any particular application or file. And if you are unable to open any particular file, and if you're receiving that error message, for example, I have this RTF file. So if you are unable to open any file and it's not opening with default application, then in that case, make a right click on that particular file, then go to properties and then go to the option which says opens with and over here, some other, you know, default application might be selected. So click on change over here and then you go ahead and select for RTF, the right application, the right application is actually word. So you can go ahead and select word, then click on OK and then click on apply okay and then you can go ahead and try to open the file so go ahead and set the right file right right application for any file now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and perform repair install using media creation tool so if you have windows 10 you can go ahead and copy this link open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and once the download is complete go ahead and run this exe file now click on accept and then by default upgrade this PC now will be selected. So click on next and it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now if you have Windows 11, in that case you can go ahead and copy this link. This link is also provided in the video description. It will again take you to Microsoft website and here you can see media creation tool. So click on download tool now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now click on accept and then click on next and select ISO file over here. So do not select USB flash drive, select ISO file and then click on next and select the location where you want to save. So you can go ahead and select desktop and then click on save. Now once the download is complete, you can go ahead and open ISO file. Just make a double click. Now run this setup file on yes to allow. Now click on next and let the process complete. Now in both the cases, if, if you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, now before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So you can go ahead and click on install and after the installation, you can go ahead and log into your computer and that should go ahead and fix the problem. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.